back everybody to the space race. If you're just joining us, here's a quick recap of the action so far. Thanks, Joe. Well, we've seen plenty of thrills and a pretty big spill as the multi-nation sprint race to the moon restarted after nearly 60 years. That's right, Joe, and the competition is hotter than ever, with a couple of new competitors on the grid. Let's take a closer look. Yep, it's time to rev up your rocket engines, because the moon is the trophy everybody wants right now. See, the US, Russia, China, India and Japan are pedal to the metal powering to the finish line at the south pole of the moon, where scientists reckon there's a gold mine of important resources, possibly including frozen water. Seems like an odd prize, doesn't it, Joe? I mean, we've got plenty of water already back here on Earth. That's right, Joe, but there's not much up here. And this moon water could help unlock some bigger prizes. Space scientists say that when the water is broken down into its individual elements of hydrogen and oxygen, the hydrogen could be used for fuel to fill up rockets on their way to Mars. And the oxygen could be used to help humans breathe in a permanent lunar base. And that would also help astronauts conduct lunar mining to extract other things like rare earth metals, which are used in lots of modern electronics. It'll also give them something to drink, obviously. Well, that is an exciting prize. Certainly is. What's the latest on the standings, Joe? <coughs> Joe? Where's he gone? Well, I guess I'll just tell you then. Russia took an early lead when they launched their Luna 25 spacecraft earlier this month. But just as it was near the finish line early last week, it spun out of control and smashed into the moon. Ooh, disappointing for them, isn't it, Joe? Absolutely, but Russia's space agency, Roscosmos, says that they've learnt a lot from it anyway, and if they can get enough money, they'll have another crack at restarting their race in a few years' time. I think we've got Joe back now. Uh, what's the rest of the standings looking like, Joe? India have taken the lead. I've just heard they landed at the finish line. That's right, India successfully landed their Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft on the lunar south pole mid last week, making them the first nation to ever land there. That's a big deal, because the lunar south pole is super hard to land on safely, thanks to it being really dark and covered in super deep craters. It's a historic moment for humanity as we venture into uncharted territory near the moon's south pole. I obviously feel really happy for my country. You feel very proud to be Indian today, and it's just a great feeling. As well as bragging rights, the Chandrayaan mission will hopefully give us a better idea of how much water ice is actually there. Next on the start line is Japan, which was due to launch its mission on Monday, but had to postpone because of bad weather. Yeah, meanwhile, China and the US are planning on sending humans to the lunar South Pole, which takes a bit more time to prepare. But NASA's Artemis 3 mission will hopefully have humans there by 2025, with China snapping at their heels, saying they'll have humans there before 2030. So this race is far from over. <laughs> Can I come back inside now? 